everybody. It's another Friday. Now it started off beautifully this morning, but outside right now is grey clouds and I think we might get a rumbly thunder, uh, which always reminds me of a giant's belly, as if he's really hungry. Um, I've just fed the dog, so if you can hear that in the background, I'm very sorry. He's very excited because he's just eaten his dinner. So because it's a Friday, it's another story time. I have found a lovely story which reminds me of a conversation I was having with my neighbour and her children last night, um, where, how we say when we're having a bit of a bad day or if we're feeling a little bit frustrated from first thing in the morning, we don't quite know where it's come from, that we've got out the wrong side of the bed. And it's a common phrase. You might have heard it quite a lot. So this story is from Enid Blyton in her stories of magic and mischief. And it is actually called The Wrong Side of the Bed. Long, long ago, the wizard Ten Toes bought a marvellous bed. There were dragons carved at the head with long, coiling bodies and peacocks with spreading tails carved at the foot. The dragons had eyes of rubies and the peacocks had eyes of sapphire blue, so you can guess how strange they looked with their eyes gleaming in the dark at night. The wizard liked the bed very much. He said it made him feel more like a wizard than ever. He had bought it from a witch, and when she sold it to him, she said, Ten toes, whatever you do, always get out on the right side of the bed. If you don't, you'll be sorry. She wouldn't tell him why, but she knew quite well. A bad-tempered little imp had made the bed for himself. One day, the witch had placed a spell upon him, got him into her power and taken the bed for her own. But she could not get rid of the little imp. He made himself invisible and squatted down beside his beautiful bed, which he would not leave night or day. The witch found it out one morning by getting out on the side of the bed where the imp crouched. What a shock for her! He bit her foot and his sharp teeth sent poison into her, the poison of his own bad temper. And that day, the witch couldn't do anything right. How she scolded, how she raged, how she stamped her foot and frowned. It was terrible to see. She sold Ten Toes the bed, but she wouldn't say a word about the invisible imp that went with it, for she was afraid that if she did, he would not pay her so much money. The wizard was pleased with the bed. He slept well in it and was careful each morning to get out on the right side. <gasps> One day he forgot. He was sleepy and got out the wrong side. He trod on the invisible imp who at once bit him in rage. Dear, dear, said the wizard, surprised. I must have stepped on a pin. All that day, things went wrong for Ten Toes. He lost his temper. He shouted and raged. He hit the man who came to clean the windows. He shook his fist at the woman who sold him potatoes. Really, he behaved very badly indeed. The bad temper poison was working very strongly in him. The next morning, Ten Toes got out the right side of the bed and things went well. The morning after, he got out the wrong side and everything went wrong again because of his bad temper. He simply couldn't understand it. He met the witch and frowned at her so fiercely that she was frightened and astonished. Then she suddenly thought of something. Did you get out of bed the wrong side this morning? She called after him. The wizard stopped and thought, yes, he had. Dear, dear, dear. So that explained his bad temper, did it? What a peculiar thing. Well, he would be careful to get out the right side after that. That was hundreds of years ago. But it's a strange thing, isn't it? That we still say to a bad tempered person, you must have got out of bed on the wrong side this morning. Now you know how that saying began. And there you have it. Have you ever got out of bed on the wrong side in the morning? I know I have sometimes. And my day just seems to be so frustrating. And the next day I make sure I've always got out on the right side of the bed and everything looks better. I hope you have a really wonderful weekend. 
and I look forward to seeing some of you over the coming weeks as we start our transition phases and we hopefully see some of your beautiful smiley faces in school. Have a brilliant weekend and I will see you again on Monday. I miss you all.